Malcolm. Hey. Malcolm. You don't want to let him upset you like this. He just flies off the handle sometimes, that's all. He's like that. It's because of something that happened to him when he was a kid. Yeah. What do you see? Frank's mum died when he was little. And his dad decided to pack up and move to Melbourne. They lived on a farm, see, and his dad was a good carpenter and he thought he'd do well in Melbourne. So they packed up the car and they set off. And Frank was happy because he loved his dad. And all. Anyway, they started driving and driving and driving. It got really dark. Really, really dark. And then, in the middle of the highway, in the middle of nowhere, the car stopped. They'd run out of petrol. So Frank's dad said, OK, now, I want you to climb over into the back seat, cover yourself with a blanket and go to sleep. And when I go, you lock the door because I'm going to walk back along the road to where I saw a building with some lights on it and I'm going to ask him for petrol. So Frank crawled over into the back, put the blanket over himself and went into this deep, deep sleep. Next thing he knew, he's woken up by this dreadful thumping on the roof. This bang, 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 bang. He sat bolt upright and looked out into the darkness, to the left and to the right and straight ahead and backwards. There was nothing there and he was scared stiff. And again, bang, 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 bang. And suddenly, out of nowhere, all these headlights came streaming through the windows. And he heard this voice over a loudspeaker saying, this is the police. If there's anyone in that car, on the count of three, I want you to open the door and run towards me. But don't look back. Whatever you do, don't look back. And so Frank, very, very quietly, slipped across the seat, put his hand on the handle, opened it up and ran like hell towards the voice. And there, just as he was getting to the cars and the police, he turned around and looked back. And what do you think he saw? On the top of the car, there's this crazy man smashing something on the roof. And you know what it was? A head. Frank's dad's head. You see, Frank's dad had gone back to a lunatic asylum and that was one of the loonies. Did they put your dad's head back on for the funeral, Frank? Bloody good feed, Jude. Potatoes, Ben. You will like them like that. Me too. Frank, I think. You go. No, you go first. I know you're up to something. What are you talking about? Don't, Frank. I know you and Malcolm are pulling a job. You're out all the time. Malcolm's building all the time. Every time I go out, I don't know whether I'll ever see you again. Can't stand it. So I'm going to help you. What? Rob Banks? I'm serious, Frank. I've been thinking about it. You can't look after yourself. Neither can Malcolm. He's got great ideas, but he knows nothing about cops or jails or anything. What would I do without you? Don't want to spend another two years staring at you through the wire netting once a week. Couldn't stand it. So I'm going to help you. OK?
There it is. 250 grand in a trolley every Thursday morning at 10 o'clock. Pushed by two guards straight across there. It's all crook's money anyway. We'd like this, will we, sir? I'd like three of these, please. Would you like me to wrap them or would you rather drive them home? What? I'm only joking, mate. What about that one? Nah, dead end. This one? Nah, not smooth enough. Hey, look at that! Yeah. Yeah, that could be all right. Pretty good. Don't see much of him these days. Has he got a job? Yeah. Oh, no, sort of. He's working on this Take thing where you please. Do you mind? I'm serving this lady. It's okay, serve him first. Some people got no manners. Come on, you guys, all we have to do is deliver these and then we can go home, okay? Nobody said anything. Not to worry. One there, one there, and one there. Sign here, please. Not my job. You sign. Thought you might say that. Get a move on. What? Move your ass. Boss, a bastard, eh? Yeah, yeah. We've done it. Jesus Christ, I went through. I'm not cut out for this. Oh, you were great. 